Whoa, breaking news. SpaceX has won a big contract with the Pentagon, promising to change everything once Starship is ready to launch. All this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. As you know, Starship is basically operational for the upcoming launch, but the FAA has yet to provide a launch license due to the fact that the FWS is taking their sweet time. Although the atmosphere at Starbase this time around is a bit slower than a few months ago, it doesn't mean that the working spirit of the SpaceX team has decreased. In fact, they're busy preparing for full stacked Starship tests, which means we could be seeing a wet dress rehearsal soon. Most notably, there's good news coming, as SpaceX has just won its first major contract with the Pentagon. According to the Pentagon's announcement on Wednesday, September 27th, it awarded Elon Musk's SpaceX the first confirmed contract for the Starshield network, which is basically Starlink but for the military. Before, on the 1st of September, a Space Force spokesperson confirmed that SpaceX received a one-year contract for Starshield with a maximum value of $70 million. The award was presented alongside 18 other companies through a program run by the Space Force's Commercial Satellite Communications Office. According to the Space Force's spokesperson Anne Stefan on CNBC, the SpaceX contract provides for Starshield end-to-end service via the Starlink constellation, user terminals, ancillary equipment, network management, and other related services. Space Force is the space service branch of the U.S. Armed Forces under the control of the Department of Defense and headquartered in the Pentagon. The Starshield contract follows the June contract with the Pentagon aiming to buy an undefined amount of Starlink ground terminals for use in Ukraine. Within the contract's initial phase, space SpaceX will be obligated for $15 million by September 30th, and the contract is expected to support 54 mission partners across all branches of the U.S. military. It's considered one of the big achievements of SpaceX this year, given that their Starshield project was just unveiled last year, but quickly caught the eyes of the company's biggest U.S. government customer, the Pentagon. Not only that, what public opinion also cares about is its profound impact on the individuals involved and even around the world. This promises to change everything. SpaceX's Starlink had the opportunity to demonstrate its capabilities in the 2022 Russia-Ukraine war when it it was used by civilians, the government, and the Ukrainian military. Its effectiveness has even been criticized by Russian government officials, while the country's military has repeatedly tried to disrupt Starlink services in Ukraine. But it's only a commercial version. What if Starshield, a specialized military version, is applied? Well, it would greatly enhance the military advantage of the United States and the allies it supports on the battlefield. Therefore, the U.S.'s position in the world will be improved significantly. Regarding this awaited sort of military satellite, there are few details available about the intended scope and capabilities of Starshield. According to SpaceX, Starshield will initially focus on three areas, imagery, communications, and hosted payloads, the third of which refers to the company's satellite bus, the body of the spacecraft, as a flexible platform. Additionally, the company also notes Starshield as the center of an end-to-end -end offering for national security, meaning SpaceX would take care of everything from antennas to the satellites, launch the latter with its rockets, and operate the network in space. Another key feature, this type of satellite has additional high-assurance cryptographic capability, helping to host and process payloads and data security. But that's not all. SpaceX developed the Inter-Satellite Laser Communication Links, which have been connected to its Starlink spacecraft. It shows that terminals could be added to partner satellites to connect other companies' government systems into the Starshield network. Once the Starshield network is put into practice, it'll certainly cause more concern for America's enemies. Back to 2022, during the Ukraine war, the impact of Starlink made the Moscow government so afraid that it had to conduct large large-scale operations to destroy this system. And now, when witnessing the Pentagon's decision to buy SpaceX's Starshield system, the Russian military has to prepare everything more urgently and cautiously before it's too late. 
Another country, China, has long begun to suspect the militarization of Starlink supported by the U.S. government will occur and could affect the country's security situation. That fear becomes even more serious as we watch the Starlink network expand globally. In response, China is actively preparing to send nearly 13,000 satellites into low Earth orbit to directly compete with and monitor SpaceX's Starlink constellations. With the appearance of the dangerous weapon Starshield, they will have to consider additional methods. However, neither Musk nor his assistant Gwyn Shotwell want to use their products as murder weapons. Indeed, when Ukraine asked to activate the Starlink satellite network in the Crimean port city of Sevastopol last year to support an attack on the Russian fleet there, he refused. On an X post dated September 8th of 2023, he explained, If I agreed to their demands, then SpaceX would clearly be complicit in a major escalation of war and conflict. Even with Starshield, although it is considered a military satellite, SpaceX may only want to use it for protection and defense instead of aiding in invasions or offense. For SpaceX itself, the contract purchasing the military satellite with the Pentagon is a milestone for the Starshield project's growth in the future. There are many important programs related to national security being developed by the Pentagon, especially when the U.S. military invested billions of dollars to build its own satellite constellation. It aims at a type of satellite network unlike any the military has built before. Currently, this department is collaborating with Lockheed Martin on this project. To be successful, the Pentagon really needs to learn from experts in this area, one of them being SpaceX. So, surely, in the future, there will be more cooperation between the two. Once Starshield proves its capabilities through those missions, there will be other U.S. national agencies interested in it, just like they were with Starlink. Starshield's first achievement will be a driving force for the improvement of other competitors in the market as well. Additionally, Washington will actively invest in projects related to military satellite development for both national and private agencies to avoid avoid SpaceX's monopoly. This is also a big step forward in efforts to enhance America's position in the space race. It's obvious, in a nationwide program, partner selection plays an extremely important role because it will affect the progress and results of the program. That being said, in this project, the Pentagon also carefully considered potential candidates, and in the end, SpaceX was the winner. Let's see why. Honestly, before signing the contract with Elon Musk's business to purchase the Starshield system, the Pentagon had already been eyeing the company's Constellation Satellite Service for a long time. What Starlink just demonstrated was highly appreciated by the government entity. In 2022, SpaceX's Starlink Internet Service received praise from the Pentagon after connecting U.S. troops in the Arctic. Brian Beal, the principal aerospace engineer of the Strategic Development and Experimentation Office, told Bloomberg, We have started testing testing high-rate connectivity to very remote Arctic bases. He also added that data speeds at an Arctic base using Starlink improved nearly 30 times over previous capabilities, demonstrating very high communication speeds. In addition to this performance, Starlink is also very easy to set up for the military. During the same year, Musk's Constellation satellite was used by the Ukrainian military to connect its drones to attack Russian forces. They uploaded images of potential targets via Starlink-enabled cellular networks networks and in total conducted about 300 information gathering missions per day. This level of sophistication demonstrated by Starlink shocked Moscow and fired up the Pentagon. As a result, in early June of 2022, the Department of Defense agreed to purchase Starlink satellite internet terminals from Musk's SpaceX for use in Ukraine as Kyiv continues to defend itself against a full-scale Russian invasion. Fast forward to September of 2023, the company has made another deal to buy Starshield in hope that the next generation of Starlink will be more efficient. SpaceX is also famous for its powerful rockets, like its highly reliable and significantly voluminous payload capacity Falcon 9 line of rockets. It's helped SpaceX break many records. Why, recently, Musk shocked the world by announcing that the Falcon rocket has delivered about 80% of the Earth's total payload mass into orbit by 2023, followed by China with 10%, while the rest of the world contributed the last 10%.
The private company is even developing Starship, the most powerful rocket ever with a payload of up to 150 tons. Once the Starship is ready, Musk will continue to build its variants, including versions specifically for Starlink transport and large cargo, as well as for the Artemis moon missions contracted by NASA. As for the Starlink transport and large cargo variants, both are likely to be Starshield launch vehicles in the future, helping to save a lot of time and costs. And that's it for today's episode, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.